utility road south. You are on the fastest route. All right, welcome to Crap Plus 2020. This time I'm doing a game alone because uh, no one's available to play a game, and I need a backlog. So uh, I found this game, which is uh, it said it was a short, disturbing little game about the loss of a pet, and I don't. Have I ever had a pet? I've definitely had a pet. I wouldn't really consider it as having a pet because when I had them, I never really took care of them. It was one of my aunts taking care of them, so I don't really consider it that. Oh, you got exactly what you deserved. Go home. Oh, oh fuck, is this game top down? Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? What's this? Okay, uh, uh, oh, oh. A dog cage. Investigate the cage. This guy's covered in blood. And then I had. Cage has a note that says sorry, all caps. Oh no. But wait, look at this cute little dog. Mm, what should I name you? Why are you covered in why are you covered in blood, bro? Oh shit, I could actually name the dog. Okay, right, I'm gonna name it what I named my dog sort of thing is Gucci. Yeah, you know, frankly, it was a really bad name. I kinda of regret naming it that. I I don't I don't know why I called it that. I think it was just like a thing that was in my fucking like weirdo six year old brain. Gucci is almost also like I think it's I think it's like a like a nickname for dogs in Spanish, I think. I don't know. It just sounds very Spanish. I can only say it the Spanish way I would say it from my aunt, so let's go with that. I think I know what to name you. What do you think about Poochie? Let's go inside, Poochie. This, why are you covered in blood, bro? <laughs> why is he covered in blood? Oh, the dog's falling around. Look at him go. Oh. He he turns on the dime though. <laughs> What's going on in here? Oh, invisible. Look at that! Oh, look at that dog! It does fucking drifts. We cross the red. Hello. All right. This is an interesting perspective for the game to be in. Like top down. It's not what I expected from the game, but, you know. Oh. Alright. I'm so tired. Go to bed. What's going on here? Man, that dog's just falling everywhere, huh? It's a bedroom. Just like a desk room? Sure. There's like nothing in here. It's just a room with a desk and a chair. What are you doing in that room? In my bathroom. Why are all your lights on, bro? Fucking turn them off. This this room doesn't even have a TV. Is that a TV? That's a desk, but it has antennas on it to make it look like a TV. <laughs> this kind of looks like a Minecraft house, to be honest. Like, this is something you can make in Minecraft with, like, fucking, like, dyed concrete, maybe, and some dark oak woods. Yeah. Let's go to sleep. Another day. Oh, yes, I have a dog that I can walk now. If Adam is watching this, I'm sure you can notice that I'm kind of doing a, <laughs> a manly voice. Just because he's the most experienced with, like, someone who talks while playing horror games that I have. Oh, hello, doggo. Yeah, yeah, that's a good bork. 
Good work, Borkman. Oh, I need to get dressed. I can't just leave without getting dressed. Dog. Yeah, bro, let's go. Yeah, I guess you don't have a leash, so it's fine then. Plus, this dog is really fucking good at following this thing. Holy shit. I don't know if I've ever, like... I've only had, like, Pucci, like, for... I wouldn't say I've only had him. Like, I had him for a really long time. And honestly, I feel really bad about, like, the time I had him. Because... I, I wouldn't say I neglected him, but I never actually, like, did, like dog owner things with them. All my, only my aunts were... Like, if anything, the dog wasn't really mine. It was one of my aunts. And I kind of regret that. It's just I just feel really bad about it. And I, But I don't think I ever... I don't like... I don't really want to try again, you know, getting a dog. Like, this, like, you know, they talk about how that's a lot of responsibility. And, like, I know that, like, all my friend, all my friends, like Cody and Adam and... Uh, I don't know if Cody has a dog, actually, but I know that Adam has a cat. And that uh, Mike has like a lot of dogs, but I just don't feel the need for one, you know. Like, I, I don't, I don't see the appeal of it. I think it, this is the thing. Like, I mean, I think I see the appeal, but I think just I'm, I'm way too much of a fucking nerd who doesn't want to like clean up, like shit or, or whatever, and doesn't want to like. <laughs> I mean, it would be good for the exercise. I could definitely use the exercise that comes with, like, taking care of an animal. But I just... <laughs> I don't... I just don't think I'm responsible enough for it, you know? It seems like a lot... I don't know. Oh, there you go. It's just a lot, you know? Maybe one day. You know, maybe when I'm older. When, like, I live alone or whatever and I want to have someone to give big pets like a dog. I do like ant like videos of animals. I quite enjoy it whenever like Adam sends pictures of his cat. He's a, he takes the most unflattering pictures and it's quite funny. And a uh, Shadow, I mean <laughs> I mean you, he, Shadow is basically in every video that Mike is in. And I like that. It's pretty fun. I wanna pet that boy. It'd be very nice. Where the fuck is our house? I've just kind of been walking and talking. It's taking a while. You like jaywalk? Bro, the fucking... <laughs> okay, I have a story about jaywalking. Uh, a while back, I remember like talking about this, and it happened when it happened, but like a while back, uh, I was like rushing to get to a session late, and the session didn't actually end up happening because I was just way too late for it, but I was rushing to get to a session and I forgot like my door key, so I had to go back, after, like I, my mom had to like be in the middle of the street. Cause she couldn't, she, she was late for work and she couldn't fire so I should have come back and give her the key. And I like, as I got the key and she drove off, I was like, alright, time to like jaywalk my way back to my, back to the fucking apartment with the key. And I just, I almost got ran over. <laughs> oh, what a great walk. Let's go home, Poochie. Yeah, but I almost got ran over. Like a car like came up, like right up to me and you know, like that thing where like you use your hands to like, whoa, you put, like stop yourself and then car getting hit. I don't know if that's a thing that happens in normal people, but you've seen it for sure in like TV or whatever. And like that's what that's <laughs> that's what happened to me. And I wouldn't say I felt my life crash before my eyes. Honestly I was kind of impressed. I like it was probably just the car stopping in time that did it. But it really felt like I used like my fucking overwhelming might to stop the car, you know? And I, I felt pretty I felt pretty good after that. You know, it could it could have gone terribly if I if the car didn't stop and ran me the fuck over. I I I feel like I have like res resistant to bashing damage. You know, like I'm a, I'm a pretty hefty guy, so I feel like if I ever like take heavy bashing damage, I'm probably resistant to it because of the fat, right? 
I think that's how that works, right? Piercing, though. Piercing, I'm probably fucked. Although I do have enough... Maybe I have enough layers as to where it won't fuck me up as bad. Slashing, though. That's just... That's just like... That's... Yeah, that's gonna hurt, you know? But I feel like I could confidently take some dashing. Where the fuck is our house? I've been talking about bullshit all day. Where the fuck is our house? Also, this is a pretty big fucking map for like just a indie horror game. It's not what I expected. I also quite like the look of it. Like a lot of game, a lot of like, indie games, so like nowadays have like horror games specifically have this sort of like PS1, PS2 look to it, like where it's intentionally looking kind of bad. And it's really charming. I actually quite like it. It's a it's a very good way to like you know save on like not having to uh, not I, I guess not put a lot of effort but like having to be like a professional artist or whatever uh, and being able to make a game you want I think it's really cool and the aesthetic is pretty good too sometimes it could be like a little over the top I don't know a little cringe or something <laughs> I wouldn't call it cringe but sometimes like if they really go like in on like the VHS effects, it could actively ruin the quality of the game because you can't see shit over all the static. But for for like things like this, where it's just low poly and that's the part of it, and how <laughs> the dog is really charming, and how it, I, it's just I'm I'm one hundred percent sure that this dog is just sliding around. It doesn't even have walk animation, and that's pretty charming. It make it makes me very endeared to Fuchi here. Where the fuck is our house? Okay. Yeah, so it's not this one. It's not this one. It's this one, right? It's not that one. This one? I'm trying to go to bed game. I can't find the house. There we go, here's the one. Camera angle change. Hey, Poochie. Close your front door, bro. Yeah, there we go. I should get, I should get my, my boy a dog bone or something, you know? Time to walk the dog. Hold on, allow me to drink some water. Mmm. Oh, that's some good water. I think water is one of the best beverages out there. Pick walker and block. Where is the dog? Oh, hello, dog. Yeah, <laughs> let's go, Wolfer. Honestly, if I did have a dog nowadays, I'd probably just call it like Wolfer and Worker, big big boy. I probably wouldn't call it by its name ever. I remember this bit, like this castle sub, not castle sub, it's uh, some restaurants, but uh, <laughs> where Willy, <laughs> Willy like saw a fucking, I think it was Willy and Matt, but they saw a van uh, <laughs> that was advertised like, I, I'm pretty sure it was like a fucking, I have no idea what it was, I think it was like just animal control or something, but they saw the van and it was advertised and that's like fucking bark, <laughs> the bark stoppers <laughs> or something. <laughs> And and the joke became like, what if that what if that company just fucking murders dogs, right? Like what, like, like it's like calling your company fucking bork snuffers or wolf wolf murder the wolf fucking whatever. And I thought that was just really funny. I have a lot of memories of like like best friend stuff. Like even though I was I objectively I was in pretty late. I'm pretty sure I watch like a lot of like compilations uh when i was younger i remember like watching uh compilations while i was like living with my aunts and uh, i actually have fucking a lot a lot of fucking memories with castle super beast which is a bit of a shame because you know how castle like so it's castle super beast was made after the best friends were out. but i i really like castle super beast i fucking Pretty much the entire second half of my high school career, 
was spent listening to Castle Super Beast and sitting in class trying not to fucking piss myself laughing in the middle of class. And I remember one bit, uh, like one time I got particularly close to fucking pissing myself. This was <laughs> a bit where, uh, it was a bit where Wooly really wanted Pat to do blackface. <laughs> and I was like in the middle of my science class, just fucking like, you know, where you're trying to like hold in a laugh and you just do like, the, you do a raspberry because you're trying to hold it back. Yeah. I remember one time uh, someone out like, because I always had earbuds in, I basically never talked to anyone in high school. But I remember someone asking, he's like, hey, what are you listening to? And, like, I couldn't tell them I was listening to a fucking video game podcast where, like, one of the hosts actively wants the other to do blackface because he thinks it's funny. Uh, Poochie, one of these days, we will reach the peak of fitness. Ha ha. Let's go home. Peak of fitness is pretty cool. But, yeah, I couldn't just tell them I was listening to a fucking video game podcast where I fucking <laughs> talk about blackface and it was really funny. Uh, but, so I just told him I was listening to, like, oh, I'm, I'm listening to, like, rock music, you know, <laughs> like, the Queen and stuff. And they seem to believe me. Could have been wrong, though. Maybe they know. Maybe they knew I was a fucking nerd. Oh, this one. Are we all nerds, really, though? I've always up with this neighborhood, but I can never find the place where I'm supposed to my house is. I just have to go all the way around the fucking neighborhood again because apparently I can't fucking find my house. It doesn't help that these, all these houses look the same. Bro, fucking... Well, there, I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of places like this in the real world where houses just look exactly the same for like a fucking mile. Like when, when my... I wouldn't call it a job, it's more of a vacation. I don't know, like a pickup job? I don't know. Uh, an occasional job I do with my uncle is uh, he goes, he's a caterer, and he does tacos. And we go to places and shit. And, you, and a lot of people, a lot of, like, you see a lot of things when you cater. You know, you, you got a pretty, you got a, you got a peek into people's lives, and I find that very interesting. Because, uh, more, like, the, the often kind of catering service is, uh, going to, like, uh, like a workplace party. Uh, weirdly enough, and it's usually, I, I, that makes sense to me, because uh, it's a very Mexican thing to do, since it's tacos, so it's a very Mexican thing to do to, like, fucking get tacos at the end of, like, a work week, and I think that's pretty fucking cool for those people who get the tacos at the end of the work week, but, uh, uh, uh more often than, I don't want to say more often than not, but the times where I've done it, and I, I, the, it's probably skewed to the times that I've seen it, because the times he calls me to come is probably are times where it's really far away and he needs my help to, like, get shit off the thing and, you know, prepare, and there's a lot of work to do. But, uh, that shit wrong, so. But, uh, it's, uh, you get a peek into people's lives, because if it's, like, a birthday party, you get, like, you basically see the entire, like, family and extended family here, and the kids, and, like, a all like the uncles and grandmas and the mom and dad and you see a you get a lot you see a lot and you hear a lot too you're not supposed to obviously <laughs> like it's eavesdropping is weird and you shouldn't do that but you know every now and again you just eavesdrop and you get you see a lot of you get a lot of insight in people's lives i don't think that's damn i need water damn i need water too. i'm talking a lot mm. oh that's a good shit did I forget to close my front door? I totally did. <laughs> Hello there, pupper. Yeah, it's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, look at that water. Chug, chug, chug. It's like a video game power up.
Let's go for a walk, Poochie. It's a pretty good routine. This motherfucker's been taking a walk for like <laughs> three days straight. <laughs> Find a key to the front door. Another Borker. Oh, there it is. Who the hell put the key here? Maybe they're all the person that lives here. This, does this guy even work? Like, what's up with this guy? No, oh, the newspaper. Oh no. There seems to be some burglar on the loose in our neighborhood, Gucci. We must, we best be careful when we take our walks. Damn. Dude, I fucking, I got burglared once. I got burglared, like, more than once. There was, like, a consistent, like, burglary problem. Uh, when I, in, like, the house that my, uh, aunts and my uncle lived in. I don't, I, I guess it's, I guess it's fair to call it the family house. Because it's, like, the first place, like, where my family lived. Well, uh, when they immigrated. Well, they first lived in an apartment complex, but it's, like, that proper, like, house that was bought. Uh, where my family lived when they first immigrated here. And uh, it had a fucking consistent, like, burglary problem. Like, like well, I, when I was, like, around fucking 11 or 12 or something, somewhere in the middle there. But it had a really consistent problem where if we left anything outside, like, at night, it would just get fucking robbed. Uh, it got to the point where, like, my my dad, my my uncle, who I call my dad because he's, like, a father figure of me uh, when I was younger. But, like, he put up, like, fucking cameras and, like, he put, like, a padlock on garage so they wouldn't get robbed and it got, like it got that it got to that point where you had to put up cameras yeah, it was that bad and they have like they put up like an automated like light honor thing you know those things like the sensors where the light turns on and it's fucking blinds you like hell because <laughs> it's so bright but yeah that's it did that uh and i don't remember if we ever had a problem after that but i remember once like Fucking years later, I think, like, after the problem had kind of stopped, I, I'm pretty sure it continued for a while for other people, but, uh, after a while, uh, and my mom got robbed, I don't, I don't remember what, like, got robbed, I just remember that my mom came, uh, to the house to, like, pick me up, uh, and she, and she talked about how she just got, like, robbed, like, straight up, uh, and, uh, Oh, at least we did not get robbed. It's we and getting robbed. Let's go home. Yeah, but uh, she got robbed. I have no idea what actually happened. Because I was still young. I think I was like fucking 13 or something. But, like, I didn't really... I, I guess not... Incur I didn't question more. I was just like, oh shit, that's fucked up. But I remembered, like, as uh, we went home, uh, my mom's uh, boyfriend... Uh, like, he, they, like, we, like, went to, like, cut, like, my mom saw who did it, uh, so, like, my mom's boyfriend went to confront the kid who did it, and it was this kid, I, like, he couldn't, he was, like, about my age, actually, I think, or a little bit older, but, like, they went to confront this kid to, like, get, get my mom's shit back, and, like, <laughs> he, the dude, he just fucking, he ate him the fuck out, he just fucked, he fucking went in on him, he fucking yelled at him, and it was like, oh, and I, and, like, I kind of, like, I thought that was really, I don't know, weird, but I thought, I think it was pretty strange to, like, <laughs> to, like, I don't know, parent the the kid who robbed you, because he was just, like, he was just a kid, you know? So, like, we couldn't, we didn't really want to call police on him, you know? Because, like, he's, he's yelling, you know, like, it's probably, like, in a weird situation, his parents probably aren't the best, but, like, it was just really weird to see that happen, you know? I don't know. It's really, it's really weird. I wonder how that kid is doing out of those. Like, I never saw him again. And I'm pretty sure he lived in the neighborhood, so... Like, I have no idea what happened to him, though. That neighborhood is pretty big, though, so, like, I don't... He, I guess he could still be living there. Who knows? It's just... It's one of those things, I guess, that happens. It's getting very dark. You know, walking around this neighborhood like this, Poochie, 
I've been talking to you the whole time, bitch, about that. But it just reminds me when I was a kid, you had like go around the neighborhood uh, trick or treating. I don't, I don't think there's really anything special about it. Uh, I feel like trick or treating is a really special memory for a lot of people, you know? Like when you're young, it's like this magical kind of like <laughs> once, once every year. You get to dress up in this new fucking sick ass shit. Like I was, just, I was like a ninja once. I remember that. And you get to dress the fuck up and you look fucking sick. I was a vampire once, and I felt like the coolest motherfucker alive that night. I, <laughs> I felt so fucking cool. I swished the fuck out of that cape. I felt so cool, and I got so much candy. And it's really, it's like, it's, it's just a night where you go walking around and you get candy. And I feel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who to blame for it, but I feel like that like news story way back, like way back in the day, that news story of like razor blades being candies really fucking ruined it for everyone. Like I don't think that actually ever happened to anyone. I don't think anyone actually got hurt. I'm pretty sure it was just completely sensational, sensationalized story that the news put out. But it was really a shame, you know. It was like after that, it was not really a shame. Like there was one or two Halloweens. Or like you got the stuff, but like ever, ever since then, it all got weird. Maybe it was just me getting older, and it felt like it was getting weirder. But like after that, I don't really remember Halloween being that big of a cool thing to do. It doesn't help that like nowadays in 2020, you've got fucking COVID and shit to worry about. I barely slept last night. I'm too stressed about this neighborhood burglar. I can't lose Poochie again. again. Ugh, I mean, I can't lose Poochie too. I'm really so asleep. Well, time for a walk. Can't. Oh, hey, Poocher. You slept with me? Oh, it's a good boy. <laughs> Honestly, this is kind of convincing me to want a dog, to be completely honest. Like, just walking around the neighborhood <laughs> with this fucking virtual dog is kind of like making me reevaluate whether or not I want a pet or not. I don't know. I don't even know what kind of... Like, I feel like... I'm, like, I'm just barely neurotic enough to where, like, even if I did want to get the dog, I'm... The thing I'm most worried about is when one day it'll die. <laughs> like, I... I, like, I feel like that's obviously, like, a fucking stupid thing to worry about because it's about... Because having fun with things is not about, like... It's not... A, like, everyone knows everything ends eventually, but it's not about how how or when it ends it's about the time you enjoy with it but i still just can't get past the fact that like one day this small little pupper borker is gonna leave me and i'm gonna really be really fucking sad about it you know i don't know then i can get over it one day or something i don't know it's just one of those things you worry about for no reason The walk cycle on this guy is pretty good, though. I don't know, I'm basing the walk cycle entirely off of Shadow. So. Hmm. You know? Not a lot going on in the neighborhood here. Also, this motherfucker's taking like a day long walks around the neighborhood. For, he's been doing this shit for like five days now. It's like, like day to fucking like middle of the night, like long walks. He's, he, this motherfucker ain't even going to work. Yeah, good for him, I guess. That he can do this. Don't worry about it. This neighborhood seems so peaceful. It seems almost impossible that we could have a burglar problem around here. Let's go home, Poochie. Let's go back the way it came. Oh, I remember another time I got robbed. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm poor and I live in ghettos a lot, but I remember another time we got robbed. It was. I remember the time we get robbed very distinctly. 
I was like, obviously you don't get robbed every day, so he, obviously you remember that when you're a kid. But I remember, I remember it especially distinctly because what happened was that, uh, like my mom's car was like parked around the block or something, uh, and like the window was like fucking shattered in, like someone threw a rock in there and they just fucking because like they saw my mom's purse in there, which frankly I blame my mom for leaving her fucking purse in the car like a dumbass. So- <laughs> That's way too rude. That's that okay. <laughs> that was way too rude. But like, it, but like, yeah, and they took her purse and they took the money and there was like a vase. Uh, for some reason, wait, there was a vase in there that also got shattered. I don't know why there was a vase in there, but whatever. But uh, but uh, oh, oh I rem- the reason I remember it so distinctly is because uh. There was uh, my mom had like a weird argument with like my my, my dad who I call my uncle my uncle who I call my dad, uh, he, a weird argument with him where like he didn't quite understand what happened to where she get why she got robbed because she used the term me me cristalaron me el video de la del carro me la cristalan un cristalazo le dieron and basically that translates to is like cristal is basically like you put another word for glass. And cristalazo basically means that like, it's fucking, it's a, it's an, it's a, I don't know, uh, an, an addition to the word that makes it like big, you know, it's a kind of, it's kind of like adding ass to it, like a, like the swear word, it's not, an, it's not a swear word in Spanish, but it's like adding ass to the end of something to emphasize the bigness of it. But uh, basically it's like, they cristalazo, which like, and you say with the emphasis, basically means like it was that like they, that they broke, you know, they broke the window. But obviously, me having trouble describing that that, that cristalazo means breaking the window. Uh, me having trouble explaining that and translating it obviously means that uh, some people, like someone, might not quite understand what that means. So yeah, they, they had an argument about it. And I'm not sure why. I just I just felt really distinctly about it. I just remember it really distinctly, thinking like. Guys, is this really what we should be worried about? Like, she got robbed, guys. Should we really be worrying about, like, the fucking vocabulary she used to describe how she got robbed? That just felt a little silly. Spanish is an inherently silly language, and it's always English, though. I feel like all language. I feel like I have the advantage of uh, knowing two languages where I can just tell, I can just see from my eyes, like, Fucking language is d- language is dumb as shit, man. Like it's just not good sometimes. A lot of the times, really, but yeah. Oh, well, let's get aside. Oh shit! What was that? That was a really fucking violent sound, dude. Fuck, fuck, dog, 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 dog. No! What the fuck have they done to you? They, they, they're still probably inside the house. I need to get back to the bedroom and call emergency services. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Operator emergency, what's your emergency? There's someone in my fucking house! Killed my dog! Operate, try to keep calm. Where are you? 42 La Plain, please hurry, send someone! An officer is on his way, please stay put. So, beep, my phone died, shit! Man, that was really inconvenient for ya. Before the officers arrived. They said stay put, so I guess we should stay put. Unless they want us to like, leave or something. What's up behind her bed? It looks like there's something behind her bed. Is that a. That looks like a texture, I guess. Oh, I have to beat the cops right here. That's a quick fucking response time. If I ever call the cops, they never respond this fast. What the fuck? <laughs>
Stop staring up. Meet the officer outside. Oh, 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 man. What's up, bro? They killed my fucking dog! Go kill him! <laughs> I'll try to keep it calm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look through the house. They killed Poochie! I, I don't think, you know, I'm, 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 I would obviously be shot some fucking murdering my dog like that. But I don't think I just yell at the cop to say, they, go kill him, <laughs> you know? I don't think I do that. Hello there, police officer. Did you find anything? I found nothing. Must have escaped while I was on my way to you. I saw your dog. Sorry. I have to go now. I'm truly sorry. Honestly, this seems pretty accurate of a place to just fucking leave me with my dead ass dog. This seems pretty accurate. Fuck man, that's really brutal to have a dark place. Honestly, this kind of feels like I don't know, maybe it's just hard. But like it feels a little bit like this might have happened in the grave, you know? It just feels like one of those things. David Gray made this way. Damn bro, I gotta fuck him. How could I let this happen? Oh, the intestines are so- Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh, it's gross. Yo, bro, you wanna clean this up, maybe? You know? <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, fuck it, I guess. No, life isn't worth living. Fuck my life. Yeah, me too, bro. He's still there? Nah, I cleaned it up. Oh, let me put one over there. Visit Richie's grave. Yo, my man put a fucking broad shoulder as a motherfucker. I miss ya. I should have kept you in the bedroom with me. I mean, it's kind of weird that, like, I went to bed with him, man. Like, he woke up in the bedroom with me that one time, so. Man, it's a lot more sad. Now I have to take a, a walk around the block and talk to no one. It'd be really funny if I just didn't talk the entire time. And then we walked in complete silence.
All right, I'm sick of this. <laughs> I held that shit up for a long time. I, and I don't know what to talk about that, you know? Like, I don't- I ain't got my dog anymore to talk to. Like, the dog was like- my, my, my man Poochie was the one giving me all the conversation topics. I'm just alone. With my thoughts. I don't know you could run, though. You- <laughs> Usually run buttons in games. Oh, you see that? They're a sign of, a. Uh, Bad things to come. Wrong way. Wrong way. All right. It's, it's really, it's really, it's really making me walk. Hey there, Bridget. How you doing? Do you hear like those like sounds in the background? Yeah, they're like what's it called? Like ominous noises on that. Do I like actually need to go around the block? Like what's up with this? Wrong way. It's not that way, man. Do I like need to find the murderer or something? I mean, from from what little we saw, of him, I think he was blonde. If someone fucking murdered my dog, I'd probably be scared as fuck that they're gonna come back and that, it, that like, it was a warning that I should watch my fucking back, you know? Because, like, murdering your dog like that, that seems like a fucking warning to me. Like, you, people don't just murder dogs like that unless they're, like, a fucking bastard. Especially if there's like, a person in the house to murder, you know? Like, why would they murder the dog and not you? Oh, that's nice, you know. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Where am I going? These houses are getting progressively weirder as we go. I don't know, they feel, I guess they could just be like randomly generated, but... I don't know, it feels weird. What the fuck am I doing? Do I have to be walking? Like, what the fuck? Oh, it's not the same without Poochie. That took for fucking ever. Holy shit. Now I'm fucking lost. Fuck. Oh, wait, here. Oh, we're right, right here. Okay. Phew. Is that a mirror? What is that? Does it be a clock? I'd be, sup I'd be super fucking paranoid. You know, I'd be super fucking paranoid, bro. I hope that fuck dies. I'd prefer prison time, person personally. You know, like I feel like a life in prison is worse than like death. <laughs> Which, uh, if if anything goes to show how bad the prison system is, then I think life in prison is worse than death. I miss you so much, Pirchy. I did not even have you for a week. Damn, that sucks. Well, I guess now we have to find something to talk about. Uh, I don't think I ever had a dog die personally. Oh, I remember. I remember I used to own like a. I, it wasn't me who owned the house, but it was my cousin. 
who owned the house there, and the, she called him Max, I think. And uh, I think he died one day. I think that hamster died one day. Uh, I don't remember when it happened, but she remembers one day it wasn't around. It's pretty. It's a pretty cute hamster. Like, when you're younger, you really want pets, and I cannot, for the life of me, find out, like, understand why. I think it's just because, like, in cartoons, everyone has a pet, you know? So, like, you think, like, oh, I should have a pet, too. It must be that cool. But, like, it's a lot of it's it, Like, it is, it is too much responsibility for a child to bear. I wish I could just go back in time. I would let Poochie sleep in a bed with me. Damn. It's just too much responsibility for a kid to have, you know? You're basically taking care of a, 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 a baby. <laughs> like, I th I've, like, I've heard that, I've heard pets describe like that a lot. That it's basically taking care of, like, a fucking baby, like a child. And I guess that, like, goes to, like, to the, what's it called? To the, uh, reasoning that a lot of people take care of their dogs, like, the child, they were a child. And not just, not exclusively dogs, but, you know, all pets. You know, like, you always hear about, like, these old women and all these older people who, like, only have their cat or whatever, and they, like, spend a lot of money on, like, Kiva for it or something. You always hear that. And, like, like obviously, like, the reasonable person in you is like, that seems a little unreasonable, you know, spending so much on it just for your cat. But, like, at the same time, you're like, well, I mean, this is, like, a, this is like a child to them, like... <laughs> He's like their baby, you know? Even if they didn't give up birth to it, but they've been taking care of it its entire life. I remember saying it said one time that the, uh, your, your pet, your animal, uh, only knows the love that, only, it lives its life only knowing the love that you give it, which is a little sad, but that's, you know, that's why you should love your pets, you know? And you like, ugh, I'm thirsty. Which I think why I felt bad about not really ever taking care of the real Poochie. This water tastes like fucking shit. Damn. This motherfucker's depressed. <laughs> He's like the angry kind of depressed, you know? <laughs> Isn't life pointless if the point of life is to end for it to, is to end? <laughs> Or maybe I should just fucking end myself. Yeesh. This guy does nothing but walk around and play. What's up, this guy? Poochie, I'm so sorry. I could have prevented this whole thing. Yeah, that's like that's where you're wrong, man. That that's something like you're internalizing fucking grief. That's like I or like I always see that a lot. It's like I wouldn't say I see it a lot, but like I, I have like people who always like blame themselves for things and it's always like like don't fucking like you don't fucking blame you. Like you know full well it's not your fault, you know? You shouldn't do that. But I guess like in the moment. It like it just feels like it's all your fault because you have no you have like no one else to blame, and like you can't really I don't know compartmentalize it properly. To understand that it's not your fault and it's just like the endless cruelty of the universe acting upon you. But it's I don't, like I wouldn't say it's like the endless cruelty of the universe. It's it's like the it's like the pure random chance of the universe of acting in a way that seems cruel to you. I don't know, I feel like that's just what life is now. Random, random chance affecting upon you. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. So you just gotta roll with it the same. I'm tired. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I didn't expect to get philosophical on this, but I, I guess it makes sense. I don't know why I get philosophical here. It is a game, but losing a loved one after all. Even if you only have the dog for like, Five days.
Like it's, at the end of the day, it is a horror game. So, like, it doesn't really want you to ask the big philosophical questions, I think. Especially since it seems to have some sort of weirdo time travel shit, maybe. Because, like, the beginning of the game, he has the shirt blood or whatever. But, you know, I think it's... These silent moments are pretty good for, like, to ask yourself questions about it, you know? Yeah. Me talking about the fucking random <laughs> cruelty of the universe sometimes. Uh... Whatever. Let's just go. Uh, I need water. This motherfucker. This motherfucker drinks water like every day. I should get a plumber to inspect these pipes. This water tastes like shit. Oh shit! It's you! You fucking killed my dog! I I did it. No. I'm calling the fucking cops! Oh no! No 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 walk casually that I don't need to run because my, my problem there was I actually ran into the bathroom well, this motherfucker needs to have his phone like strapped you know my phone is fucking dead god sign the fine to bury like oh fuck off he goes fuck Car has an oil leak. I can see it on the sidewalk. I know. I will know where he lives. Hmm. Now, wait a minute. Aren't we? Uh. Uh. All right. That seems a little off. Well, what was up with that burglar? He said he didn't kill our dog. Yeah, this is this is stupid. You know, you shouldn't chase after burglars. You know, you should call the cops, especially with like an obvious oil leak like this. Yeah, especially this motherfucker who's apparently gonna go try to kill this motherfucker with his bare hands. Which, like, I mean, he's been doing a lot of walking recently. Maybe he can fucking like judo kick him his head off or something. I don't know. <laughs> He could be the strongest man alive. I don't know that. This, this guy, like, did a circle. This is where he lives. That ass murdered the ass that murdered my dog. Look around the house for a window to peek into. Right. I guess we're gonna commit some murder. The window has its curtains open. I can peek through it. Oh, and I'm down for a little bit of murder. Oh shit! He owns a dog! Oh fuck him! I'm going home. Oh, this motherfucker's gonna murder his dog. It's like... Oh. It's like... The cycle of violence or whatever. <laughs> you know, if it were me, I'd just slash the motherfucker's tires. Like, fuck this guy. Slash his tires. <laughs> You know, I, I, you know, you shouldn't slash tires, but, you know, little, <laughs> little, little, little slash tires never hurt nobody, you know? Like, fuck that guy, he deserves to get his tires slashed.
So I quite appreciate how much fun, how much this guy says fly and shove and curse words. Because I say curse words that much. I relate to him in, in our curse wording ways. I'm so sorry, PJ. No, the street lights. Why does this guy even break in, like, again through the same window, too? What's up with that? It's weird. I don't know if I should call the police. You, you should! He broke your window, bro! Either way, though, I feel like this is, like, is kind of like the way this is kind of leaning into this kind of thing I like, where it like it starts off as like a like casual horror, you know, like domestic kind of horror. Oh, oh that was just a fan. <laughs> but like you know, domestic horror, like the horror of losing a pet, and, you know, like all this shit. But like kind of leaning into the supernatural slowly. I like that. It reminds me of that one fucking movie by the guy who did Midsommar. The one with about demonic possession. Uh, I wish he was still here. I for, I forget what it's called, but uh, it's a movie about demonic possession by the guy who did *Mother so I have no idea what it's called, but like like at the beginning of the movie, uh, like at the very beginning, it starts with like uh, someone losing their mom. Like um, the grand, like a like a mom losing their mom, so like the grandmother being dying. So all like obviously that's a lot of grief, you know. And then like in, like a little bit later into the movie, like I don't know, like after the like I think twenty minute mark or something, uh, the child, like, it's it's fucking brutal, but like in a like in a fucking horrific, the brutal really sound this right. I wonder if he's home. But yeah, but like in a horrific accident, like like a teenage like the teenage brother is driving his sister to like the hospital because she's having an allergic reaction, and like he's just speeding to get there, and like I like the child thinking like I need I need air, I can't breathe because they have an allergic reaction. I poke their head, they push their head out the window, and <laughs> and the guy needs to swerve to avoid something, and it just fucking decapitates her. And it's fucking brutal, man. It's so brutal. Because, like, you fuck, You feel that shit, man. And then the kid... Oh, his car is here. I wish I could just call the police, but I can't. Because then I would not be able to do something to it myself. I should probably start heading home. But yeah, that shit was that shit's brutal, you know. That shit fuck that shit fucks you up, man. And like that, I like that's a like that kind of leads into like just I want to call it domestic horror, but like tragedy, like the horror of tragedy in your life. And then and then it starts slowly, like after that, after that, like you're like it's fucked, like that shit's fucked up. You're like feeling terrible, like just having to witness a family go through this shit. I like the tragedy of like living a child after like the grandma, but and, like having it be like an accident from the sibling, but then it starts leaning into like the demonic sort of possession aspect, and I think that's really cool, you know, because like it's already enough of a tragedy, but now they have to deal with like a supernatural force beyond their control. It's fucked up. I like it a lot though. I'll probably look it up and put it in like as a subtitle in the editing. I don't know what the movie was. Wait, is this not finishing the walk? I have to- what do you mean, finish your walk? What? Do you need to walk around? Do I have to, like, kill the guy? <laughs> I gotta kill the guy. I 
I was busy talking about movies that I forgot I need to go commit murder. Committing murder nowadays is like way harder than it used to be, you know? I watch a lot of like true crime stuff. And just by just by doing that, I've come to realize, wow, is it really hard to get away with murder nowadays. Just like the advent of fucking security cameras and forensics being so fucking good and like so much of it. You can't really get away with anything nowadays, you know? And that's that's objectively a what for the window oh what's going on in here? Why is where the window is open? What am I supposed to do in here? Mm. Oh, there's nothing in here, so... Weird. What the fuck is that about? Where the fuck am I supposed to go finish this walk? Where the fuck am I- is there like a trigger point for all this and I'm just missing it or something? I have to do something. Alright, there there is a trigger point for it. It's just like all the way to here. That's kinda I mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's mm, it just feels a bit like a waste of time, you know? Because like I got I got lost there for a while, you know? So I feel like I feel like having it <laughs> I guess sitting on like a a walk counter maybe would have been a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a programmer, so I don't know what the limitations could be. Like I have a trigger point seems like the simplest way to do it, but I feel like it could have been a little bit better so you don't get lost because this neighborhood looks really similar all around the place, so you can get lost really easy. And having to find a trigger point in this place is a little hard. I don't know. Well, that's nice. ba, ba, ba. I can't sleep. I need a knife. Oh, it's time to murder! I love myself some murder. Nothing beats a little murder early in the morning. This is for you. Yeah, <laughs> boy! This motherfucker ain't even wearing shoes, you know? This motherfucker running down the street <laughs> ain't even wearing shoes to come murder this motherfucker. I mean, I guess that's, that's a pretty good way of doing it. But then, like, your footprints are gonna be all over the place, and, like, your foot marks are just as distinctive as your fingerprints. Like, I, I, like, a forensically, like, the weight, like, your, your footprint is actually just as distinctive as your fingerprint. Because, like, from a footprint, you can determine the likely height of a, of a suspect, the, how much they weighed, how much, like, what their, their shoe size is. You can determine a lot from just a footprint. It's honestly very impressive. For forensic and forensic people. Those guys are real heroes. I'm coming for ya. Break into the burglar's house. 
find and kill the burglar's dog. Eye for an eye, motherfucker! What the fuck is this bitch? Not here. What is... What is going on? Fuck! He's not in the house. I did what I felt I should. There's no reason to wait for him to come back. What is going on? Cause this... Cause when the game started, it was just like this. Like with the guy being covered in blood. And finding a dog. So like, what is going on? Is this like a time loop or something? I mean, it can't be a time loop exactly. Because we did meet that cop. That cop was a person. I would be a little bit more suspicious of it if like, we didn't get to see the cop at all. Then I'd be like, that's weird, but this is a bit more, you know, something strange, very paranormal, so kind of trying to Exactly what he deserved. What? The dog cage? The cage had been built, it's a sorry. Oh no. What the fuck was up with that? Like, the game ended exactly how it began. And, like, in the middle of there, there was, like, I can't lose... I can't lose Poochie, not again. So, like, is this some... There's some sort of... There's some sort of, like, paranormal angle here. There's some sort of, like... Like, time-repeating sort of thing here. There has to be. Something like that. Well, that was a pretty good game. I, I mean, I think... Yeah, it was pretty good. Just the walking around was a bit... I don't know if I'd say odd, but I feel like it was... There was a bit... Uh, <laughs> the entire gameplay was walking around. No, oh, this game was a quick passion project to get back into game development after previously losing literally all of my program and frameworks I used to develop my games. So once again, thank you very much for my comeback, for playing my comeback game. <laughs> it was a pretty good game! I it was I think the story is good. And the whole <laughs> making me question I don't know, like reality, making me have that philosophical bit was pretty good. And it's a good like domestic horror, like casual like kind of horror that someone would experience about losing a pet. And I, and I mentioned how I do like a kind of supernatural angle introducing itself to something that is a more normal kind of horror, everyday horror. Well, yeah, it does bring up a lot of questions, and, I, and, not, and not, not a lot of the questions are answered, but I think you could kind of come to your own answers, and I think that's pretty good. I like that. That was pretty good. It's a good game. Good game.